Checking in on a forecast coming up tomorrow. Good Friday and then the Easter weekend. Christina San Juan uh, pinpointing exactly when some rain might be in the area on Easter Day itself. Yeah, I don't think that it's look any of these days are looking like a washout here, Doug, especially not for Good Friday tomorrow. And I don't think Easter Sunday is going to be bad either, especially not for uh, those Easter egg hunts early on in the morning or any of the church services. So that's good news, but we will get through that timing here in just a moment. I actually want to give a shout out to Nelson County Public Library, all the folks that came to learn all things total solar eclipse today. It was a really fun time and uh, really enjoyed getting out into the community earlier this afternoon. Really good turnout for it as well as we're just a week and a half away from the Great American Eclipse. It was a cold morning this morning. Many of us woke up to temperatures even in the 20s from Shelbyville over to Frankfort, Kentucky. Woke up to 28 degrees this morning in Bedford, 35 this morning in Louisville. And I'm happy to tell you it's not going to be getting near that cold going into the overnight hours tonight. Something your weather app won't tell you is that we're actually going to be experiencing mid-April temperatures as we hit uh, head into this weekend temperatures that we don't usually see in uh, late March and early April. So if you like the warmth, I think you'll really like the temperatures this weekend. Right after that, though, we are going to be tracking some spring thunderstorms that could potentially pack quite a bit of a punch uh, as we go into the new work week. So enjoy the here and now while we still have it as temperatures are hovering right around 60 degrees. It's 60 right now in PRP, uh, 59 right now in uh, Bowman Field. We have some upper 50s all across southern India. Indiana looks like 58 is the popular number from E-Town stretching down to Campbellsville and Munfordville. Going into future casts, the next couple of hours look pretty fantastic. We'll still hold on to the 50s well after sunset this evening, even into about 10 o'clock tonight. Skies staying clear as we wake up tomorrow morning as well. And you'll notice that temperatures are quite mild, waking up in the low and middle 40s, then quickly recovering into the 70s for the afternoon. Just an all around gorgeous day with just a very light breeze to round out the work week here for your good Friday. Friday evening, though, things will begin to change. We'll stay dry, but we will have some clouds pushing into Kentuckiana ahead of maybe a very light sprinkle Saturday morning. Most of us, though, not even going to be noticing it. Temperature is still going to be warming into the mid 70s both days, uh, but we will just keep the increased cloud cover around both days as well. 73 for your Saturday and then by Easter Sunday, we're making it into the mid 70s with a quick chance at seeing isolated thunderstorm later on in the evening, so not a day ruiner by any stretch. Here's your forecast for tonight. We're staying clear and quiet, not as cold as what we woke up to this morning, falling down to about 43 here in Louisville, but then quickly rebounding to 70 degrees right on the nose tomorrow afternoon. We'll keep those 70s up for quite a few days. How about 76 for our Monday? But that's also the day that we're going to be looking at for that potential severe weather threat Monday into Tuesday. That is the warmth uh, going going to continue through Tuesday and then right after the thunderstorms move on out of here, we are going to see a pretty sharp drop in temperatures, not cold, but going from well above average to well below average by the middle part of next week.